probably one of the ranked players in France. No, 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 no. Here we are, here we are. Let's go. Jensen against Griffith. Let's talk about it later on. But right now, right now, oh my god. So Lilat again. I'm not sure why <laughs> Griffith keeps going to Lilat with Fox in the first game. Like, he hits it open. I think as it's far from being one of Fox's best match, one of the best stages. But anyway, if it works. I wonder why he picked Fox actually. We don't have that many chicks Ex instead of yeah, him, I would say. Yeah, is it actually. There's a uh, Yoren. Also, who true. Plays both Sheik and Greninja now, so it's even less than before. And that's basically it. Yeah. Ah, and he played a lot with Yoren recently, like really yeah. a lot. Yeah. And against his uh, Greninja and his Sheik. So yeah, he probably worked a lot on that uh, on that matchup, actually. I rem if I recall correctly, like he made Yoren a bit angry about that matchup. Fox Sheik, like really a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, make, he made that really hard. For your end, so we'll, we'll it see. Is, it is a proper goal, yeah, yeah. Oh, it is like probably a, a matchup in Sheik's favor. But um, as I was saying earlier today, uh, Sheik's combos, like the kind of uh, sorry, Fox's combos and uh, traps kind of nullify uh, your character, your opponent's place in the chill list. Like, doesn't matter if you Mewtwo, Bayonetta, or Bowser, once you're caught into the up chill vortex, you're basically getting hit at, at one moment or another with an up air or an up chill. And uh, with the characters are like, uh, as light as Sheik, if you do even a slight mistake, you will die at 80%. So we'll see if Jidenzi gets some hit down, I will say. Because I remember, uh, if you remember correctly, like against Marbury, he gets overcommitted a bit yeah. too much at some point. So he lost tons of situation because of it. Yeah. So we'll see if uh, with Griffith that's going to happen again or not. And at some point I saw some don't be through a bit too early, I would say. And that's actually... Oh, wow! Oh, la, la! 78 after hit. Yeah, I wasn't sure uh, on this on this stage that uh, he was going to be able to kill with a second up there. Definitely benefits a lot from uh, the platforms to extend his combos, but with all the rage he had, that was enough. He was able to kill at 78. Uh, I was about to say, to um, continue what you were saying, that both Diddy Kong and Fox, two matchups that we've seen Jidanzi play today, him, uh, are matchups where she strengths uh, like a lot in edge guards. So if you watch these, if you don't get the edge guards. <gasps> oh! Oh wow, yeah. Okay. Could that oh, oh, could be that's huge. It, yeah, oh, oh, huge percentage. Oh, it's not done, man. It's not done yet. It's not done yet! Here we are, three stock! Fox against Sheik, 184%, still living, still in death. Uh, oh my god, two stocks have been taken at low percent, at 100%, uh, I would say. Victoria got him with a very, very early upper kill and then the clutch forward the spike. Kuchinda. So we have a coaching rule here, uh, it's actually Razzolini, it's a one minute coaching uh, rule in between each matches. So right now, uh, as Danny has accepted, he could have refused, il aurait pu refuser. Okay, so the rule is, if you don't have a coach yourself, or are not willing to get coach, you can actually refuse your opponent from getting coach, which, uh, like, like this, in the middle of things, you tell me, I think it's rather fair and an interesting approach to coaching. It's not always allowed, but it's definitely uh, even between the players. If you accept it, well, here's what happens. You get one minute, we can get uh, advice from your teammates or your uh, country mate. And let's be honest, I am well happy. You can't say that. I'm so happy <laughs> to, see, to see that happening here. I'm glad. I'm glad we got some coaching rules. I'm glad we allowed coaching. I feel like this is a really important part as a competitor, as a player, as a... I don't know, man. You're facing an open and you can get some just a bit of time, just a, another look of the game to help you find a solution. I feel like this is really important. And those rules, those rules of our coaching are really important. And I feel like this is awesome. Civil War for that, you are the best, by the way. Just shout out for you guys. Your rules for the co for coaching at Civil War? A blessing. A blessing. And okay, yeah, you got, you got you get coached? You get coached? Someone go and tell you how to beat me? Guess what? 
I'm picking Mega Man! Oh yeah! Oh yeah, with the color swap! I like you, Griffiths, let's go! So this matchup is actually pretty darn terrible, especially on this match, because if the Sheik is playing patient and willing to press the B button, well, Mega Man has to approach, and that's not really something he's really comfortable with. However, another thing that's interesting, yeah, I was about to say that in this matchup, and it seems G Dance is not aware of that, uh, you have to be extremely precise with the spacing and how to cancel as Sheik, because even though she's such a good character, she's also also one of the top characters that can get good school combos easily, the most easily by Megan. Mm, nice, so many percents on a fast roller like Sheik, and wow, drops is just a bit too early. You can see Griffith is fiending for that uh, foot stool. Uh, <laughs> yes, oh yes, he's fishing it. Oh, definitely, man. Yep, the good spacing from Gidanzi won't allow him to get a uh, foot stool, obviously. That's funny the way he switches character. Just I don't know if it's that because of the stage, because of uh, of the coaching or anything. Because he feel like I can do that with Mega Man, so I'll do it with Mega Man. I don't know. I think now that he has a full stock, uh, a one match lead, and it was a three stock. I think he's feeling a bit cocky. He just wants to try the matchup actually. Like, okay, let's see if I can do this cool combo I did a, a while back uh, and do another Twitter combo. <laughs> On the international tournament right now. <laughs> Wow, too bad, yeah, it was a good bit of aerial mobility. Nerd does a third into that, obviously. Goes for the forward edge back here, but gets a sour spot on forward there, so no combo here. Too bad, yeah. Ooh, wow, looking for the up tilt. <laughs> Every time you see Griffith going for a spot dodge up close, you have to be very wary with his balls and willing them to throw the up tilt. Very poor finish from Gidenzi, sadly. Okay, going G for the edge guard, I agree. Oh! Okay. Oh, no batting fish. All right, Jidenzi coming into the lead. Yeah, Jidenzi tried to read some tech chase, but oh no, come on. Oh, okay, but uh, Griffith make makes up quite well this tech chase, so Jidenzi got some trouble to follow them. Jidenzi has trouble he's guarding all these characters. Like he's, from what we've seen on the stream, he's played a Diddy, a Fox, and a Mega Man, and he isn't able to get his uh, games or even edge guards, and that's pretty crucial. Okay. And so coming up just to warn you. <gasps> Beautiful <laughs> on those lemon, the bouncing fish getting well above all of them lemons. and oh. boom taking yeah, the start. That's a problem this matchup. Like you can play the neutral game rather decently if so the Sheik isn't pressing the B button too much. But if you don't have room to move around, if you stuck at the edge and you go for lemons, there's a good chance you will get uh, either Ned or Bouncing Fish. So the Gen Z making quite a great wall. Finally, Griffith making a grab, back throw, not enough, of course. But even though that was close, not too oh. bad. Pressed the roll, but didn't commit to the up smash. So not just at his feet. Oh wow! This was, well, it seems Gidenzi does not know this matchup, so he's choosing to play super patiently. Uh, he's not aware of uh, Mega Man's uh, strong, uh, huge bending, uh, ending lags. He'd rather play it safe and throw needles at some point, which I perfectly agree with. Yeah, just reacting at what happened. That's it. Yeah, that's stuck. A bit too... Yeah, that dash grab was questionable. Oh, wow! Okay, Griffiths. That's actually a setup, but it's very hard to get it timing-wise, because if you get one hit of the leaf sheet after the footstool, it messes up the wall combo. And the needle will go under the lemons. Jidenzi might be figuring out some stuff right now. It's this kind of tiny neutral, uh, neutral game um, data that changes uh, the pacing of a match. Yeah, Jinzi now is definitely in the lead of the match. I mean, uh, as a wall, like Griffith does not take that many percent as he should do. He overcommits tons of time that Jinzi uh, make the make the punish. And because while Jinzi just take the lead out of the first stock, since then just never let it go. And it seems super hard for Griffith to take it back. Yeah. And uh, again. Uh, it's, uh, it's becoming quite a pattern and it saddens me because I, I like Griffiths and uh, Griffiths and Mega Man especially. Uh, but also oh! <gasps> too bad, yeah, that's that's too bad. I should have kept him bow shut. Or oh, he should not have picked this color. Um, that's it! Oh! Yeah, no. Again! No, no, no. Uh, not this time. French. Uh, as I was saying, um, he's not taking stocks uh, in the conventional ways that Mega Man can. He's not getting back yet. Oh! oh! Is, Just as I say that! That time trump. It was it was just like I know I know you're taking your time on the edge. I'll take you by surprise this time. Really nice. I'm keeping it just for the right time where you can take the stock. So now Griffith back in the lead. 
So we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Oh! The Leaf Shield breaking himself from the Bouncing Fish would have been the stock otherwise, I think. Oh, too bad. Yeah, that Sour Spot Nair just lost to a Sour, uh, sour Spot Down Shield. Uh oh, well, she's looking for it. Drifus is going for these setups to get the footstool on it. You are frisé. He won that. He really won that. Yeah, and uh, obviously, uh, nice. to be honest, at this person game, had he got the footstool with one loop, he might have taken the whole game right now. Yeah, because of his rage? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, no, uh, it would have killed at like 60%. We'll see if Griffith can pull one. Uh -oh. We'll see, we'll see. Yeah, no, it's got coming for Chidenzi. That might actually be his downfall in this situation. Okay, good pressure. Get him behind. Nice by Chidenzi catching that landing. He needs to keep, to keep Griffith on the edge. He's just, yeah, he's converting. He's not putting enough pressure on the opponent when he's on the edge. That might be it. Because Chidenzi does not know the matchup all that well from what we've seen. If he tries to go for a trick, this is once again the trade needle on the metal blade. Okay, nice bit Jin Z. Jin still nice. get the control right now. Yeah, and he's putting a lot of pressure on Griffiths, and Griffiths is forced to go very high up. Okay. But for the roll this time, isn't quite ready to lose his talk to a tramp. He wants that too Jin much. Z. Be careful because Griffiths is looking for the left shield. Okay. No double jump. Holy catch, no. Then it should just stop right before the back air. Okay. Nice grab. Chitenzi finding so many grabs on the shield of Griffith. It is far from being safe, actually, because grab can be footstool. Oh, Ocho can sell the forward air, so no footstools for you. Yeah, not today. Safe. You could actually go for the timeout at this point. Oh, that's true! I didn't even realize yeah, it's yeah, only yeah, yeah. one minute left. Oh wow, the read was there. Too bad he could have gone for the bouncing fish. This could be it. No. Yes. No. <laughs> Mega Man's back air being the worst move in the game. Unable to close it just yet. Oh my god, those needles now. No. Oh, super commit from Chidenzi. Wow, he's making me so scared. He doesn't need to go for these at this point. I, I swear to you, man. So right away. Didn't just. He didn't look at the clock. Yeah, yeah. He yeah, didn't yeah. look at the clock. Like, probably. Wow, so close. Wants a back air. That's it. Oh wow, a bit too slow. And that's and it. Chidenzi takes it. After getting three stocks at the previous game, the switch was maybe not the best idea Griffith could have done. Maybe not. Not at all. So... Nice. I think we might... I don't know. We might see maybe another minute of coaching. Uh, <laughs> da Danny is like, oh, come on. Okay, you can coach him if you want, maybe. Danny? Hey, Danny. Do you want to coach? Danny doesn't want to be coached, but he's just tired and doesn't really want uh, to wait too much. I'm gonna. Ah, uh, mec. Well, the time de. Sorry, we just. Did uh, you ask us something? Just wait a bit. So guys, uh, just to warn you in advance that uh, this is actually top uh, 16, we're, we're on our way to top 8 and uh, all the matches of top 8 will be streamed, so we'll do a short break just before that, it will uh, be around a 20 minute break, obviously we'll uh, warn you both on Twitch and Twitter uh, just to make sure we're in the best conditions uh, and uh, <laughs> like since we'll be commentating matches with both uh, Griffiths, uh, with, uh, sorry, Gluttony and Fatal Gluttony and Fatality, we'd better be well rested because I think we'll be doing some shouting at the crazy things that are about to happen in this Yes, moment. we will be! <laughs> I'm pretty sure we will. So it's 1-1 now. G-Danzy against Griffith. Woo, front.
France or Italy will take it. And now I'm hearing Mario. It's been a while since I didn't see the Mario of Griffith. So we'll see what will happen with his Mario against that chick from Italy. Here we are for the third game of that set. Okay, so a Mario coming out. <laughs> Wonder why isn't he coming back to, to Fox actually if he's willing to go play on the on battlefield since Fox worked so well. That's actually an a really good question. Well, I I'm sure Griffiths is more than confident in his uh, Mario, to be honest, so it's not like he feels like he's taking a risk, but I'm just wondering. Let's uh, see. I wonder too, but I feel like he told me, like, I got the read, I got the rhythm, I just can't really punish it, so I think it goes for the easy punish, if yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, I see, yeah. So Mario is easy to punish, easy to follow, so I do think he's just aiming at that. It's true that uh, Mario's punish game on Sheik is just absolutely strong. Like, if, if you get that one grab or up air or up tilt at the raspberry mid-low percent... <gasps> oh wow, are you dead? I think double jump, yeah. Still, so he's probably not getting gibbed. Sheik is not the best, actually, at covering his Mario's recovery from below. Uh, if you have your needles, you have way more options, but other than that, it saddens me to, to see GDNZ throw away stage control every time the opponent is off stage. Because other than that, he's doing a great job, actually, this game. The, uh, oh, wow, does not get the cross-up on the upper, definitely would have been the suck here. And now Griffith is charged. He is charged. And she gonna get some trouble to get the kill now. Is Griffiths regretting this kind of choice because this is missing? Oh, no, no, no. Very good for Chidenzi. Uh oh. Oh my. That's why I told you he's charged, man. He's charged. 150%. He is charged. Oh, and he sorry. does not care. Pretty scary situation. Chidenzi, yeah, unable to edge guard. That's oh no! Chidenzi no! throwing it. Oh wow. He's looking at the sky, we can see him from across the room, but, you know, in this situation, if you keep your cool, it's basically still your game. Problem is, in, specific, in this specific matchup, okay, good thing. I was about to say, in this specific matchup, you leave Moyo at high percent, uh, high rage, and you're at zero, you're getting comboed for easily 40%. Okay, nice. Is. Terrible follow-up. Terrible follow-up again, but oh. no worries, he gets it again. Oh, wow, tries to go for it. And as you're aware, at the end by Chidenzi, it could have been really huge. Ah, too bad. I feel like that SD just impacts a lot, Chidenzi. Yeah, and Griffith can really... He allows himself a ton of stuff that did not get through just on the previous stock right now. And that's too bad. Because after the suicide, uh, Chidenzi still was able to, you know, take this stock right away without taking any percent. But it seems it has shook him enough. But right now, he's got something going. Is he getting pressure? Double jump is gone. Get that wall of back air, just making that wall. No nice reverse up smash, that definitely would have hit and taken the start. Okay, back in the center, trying to roll, finding something, but not finding that up smash. Unfortunately, see on the center of the stage, finding a forward smash at the landing of that bouncing pitch. That's cool. Recurring theme. It pains me to see Gidenzi get regularly punished, always in stage control when he's bouncing pitches off stage. Okay, he's behind yeah, and he gets a wall coming. Yeah, stage, but no. Okay, decent follow up. Tries to go for the double up here. Okay, get back in the center. What will happen? Chidenzi needs to play both like aggressive enough to rack on more percent onto Griffiths. But safe enough so that he doesn't get hit by even the easiest of starters just as a down throw. We'll get hit for 26% for one little mistake. Getting sometimes that don't even on that much. Still in the pressure. Punishing that bouncing fish. With the dodge, but yeah, the dodge was on stage and not off stage. So Griffiths wasn't able to follow up after that. Gets a shield grab. Okay, back at the center once again. Fighting that back here. Wanted that fair on the potential a bouncing fish, I would say. Aiming at it. But Jidenzi, nice drop fair. Taking the edge. Nice wall jump back here. Fading oh no. away. And that comeback on the edge. Okay, wow. try to wait for the up smash. But Griffiths not about to... Give him that easy stock again. Okay, gets the abyss this time, but wow! Barely kills. Wow, good J from Griffiths. And here we are, last stock of this game, which is the last one of this set. Will Italia move on in uh, the loser bracket? Oh, oh my god! On his feet! 
catching him and throwing him in the pit. Beautiful by Griffith, sealing that sock on the brutalest way possible. My God. And so if I'm not mistaken, I believe, I believe Italia is out of this tournament and only remains in losers brackets. Only, yeah, only French players at this point. Well, even though well play, so. well play, Italia, well play, well play. I do, I do hope Gidenzi watch these games, the three sets we have been commentating, and uh, and sees like his edge worlds. I, I think he was playing neutral perfectly fine, and uh, his followers were really good enough for what uh, what was going on. Like he, he basically ate Griffith uh, alive in the second game, but ed uh, in edge world situations he just wasn't putting the right kind of pressure, and that ended up costing him a lot.